Quick introduction for those who might not know who I am. My name is Joe. I run the events in Vero Beach. I post the VODs. I do all that jazz. I run the Discord. And I am going to make this video for those who might not know what a PR is and for those who do know what it is but are curious to see how it will be ranked and judged at the end of the year because we have come across some unique circumstances to put it lightly. But with that being said, we're just going to jump into it. First, I'm going to tackle what exactly a PR is and why I'm tackling that question. And it's because uh, Vero Beach has grown expen exponentially over the course of this year. Ever since Ultimate came out, I started running more Ultimate-centric tournaments. And we've gone from like a humble amount to... And let me, let me just show you just how many people there are. Probably like 20 people at house tournaments I ran to over 100 and over 100 unique entrants in just Vero Beach alone. So there is a good chance that a lot of you might not know what a power ranking is, and I'll explain it shortly. It's the top 10 best performing players in the region. It showcases our talent to other regions out there. It helps ranking and out of region tournaments for other TOs who might not know not not who might not know how good players like Gomez FL or GXL are. And it's it just breeds competitiveness. Some people want to be on that PR and that's awesome. So with that out the way, now we're gonna go into how I'm gonna go about uh, judging this PR and what kind of guidelines I'm going to use. We're in a kind of unique situation. Because over the year we haven't had a single PR, and that's due for that's that's because of a plethora of region, reasons which I'm not going to go into, but that's okay. We're going to have a PR that goes over the entirety of the scene's existence up until that point. So when Ultimate came out and when I started running them, I forget when's the exact date, which I'm pretty sure it's mid-November when Ultimate came out, maybe or late October. But from then up until December. Basically, the end of December, which will have the last Vero standard, which I believe will be on the 28th, but don't quote me on that. It'll go over all of that, which is over a year of data. So I use this bracket or this website called the bracket to help calculate that PR. I can set requirements to you have to have six tournaments you have entered to be able to even qualify for the PR. Most of the time it's three or four, but this is a unique circumstance because we're going over a year plus of data. So I'm going to bump that requirement up a little bit and you'll see the people here who have so far met that requirement. Meme, uh, Gomez FL, GXL, myself, all the way down to uh, my boy Ranger Lab and my boy Meep. So this... Let's just, let me put up a hypothetical or a theoretical situation where this is what I am looking at at the end of the year, right? So this is the list. This will not be the end all be all list of players that I'm going to put onto the PR. And that is for a few reasons. One of them being inactivity. A meme hasn't shown up to an event since I want to say June. Uh, I haven't been to an event since May. I, well, I have been, but I've just been running them, so I've never entered them. And as time went on, the events got bigger and bigger and bigger, and I couldn't enter them. And Ranger Lab hasn't been to an event since the... I don't even know when. April? So that'll be taken into consideration. Meep has been to events. He's been to the last one. Uh, Gomez FL and GXL have all been to events. The last one, Slep has been to events. Jock Crispy has been to events. Paco has been to events more recently. So all of these will be taken into consideration. Also, it's very important to note that I alone won't be making these decisions. It'll be me and a group of people. Most likely two or three more. Probably three or four more. Just people that I trust to make rational decisions based off of the data that they are presented. And Bracket is really good for that because if we click here, it'll tell you all of that data. Wins, losses, what tournaments they occurred at, and even so far to uh, list the head-to-heads 
of the people require who have met the requirements. So meme is positive against meep. You can tell because his name is here, and all of these things are green, and that means uh, that he they're positive on that person, or they are yellow, which means they are even, or have they have not played. As you see with zero zero, and then you see here with uh, five five with. Austin and GXL, which is amazing for Vero Beach event for them to be dead even as our number one and number two Vero Beach representatives. That's pretty cool. And then you see it gets red over here for negative. So Morgan has not beaten Meme. He is down. Did I say Morgan? Oops, I dropped his. I dropped his government. Meep has not beaten Meme, so he's a negative. Same goes for that. Same goes for that. Me and my group of three, three or four more people will look over this plus other data to make the decision on the PR which will probably be I want to say 10 players 10 players right now there's only 12 that have met that requirement but there are players that have almost met that requirement and they will by the end of the year as long as they stay consistent because there are going to be six more Vero Beach events uh, one Falco in the middle per month and one Vero standard per month as well. And that'll definitely put a lot more active players on this list like Kodiaks, like is Flux already on there? Flux is already on there. Are there any others that come to mind immediately? There are, but they just aren't there yet because I have been making this video for a long time and I apologize if I forget you guys' names. But that is essentially it. The next event will be Falcon Middle 20, which is this Saturday. Has a $100 pop bonus. Ooh, show up, tell your friends. We would also love it if you guys join the Discord. I'm going to link both of those things down below. And yeah, I'm going to end things off. You guys take it easy.